say your name and spell it against your title. I'm police officer Joseph Keating. I'm with the Cincinnati Police, the Financial Crime Squad. Uh, my last name is spelled K-E-A-T-I-N-G. Um, we're holding this press conference, I guess we're seeking the assistance from the public to identify a repeat bank robber in the greater Cincinnati area. Um, he has committed at least seven robberies offense over the past two months. Um, those offenses were in Cincinnati, Norwood, and Sheridanville. Um, all the offenses in Cincinnati were in District 2, and more specifically in Hyde Park, Oakley, and Mount Washington. Um, we're also working with the other law enforcement agencies, not just in Norwood and Sharonville, but um, the other Hamilton County agencies to see if he's committed any more offenses and try to loop them all together. Um, the general MO of the suspect is that he's been uh, just passing a demand note. While nobody's been hurt or there's no weapons been shown yet, he has threatened to harm the tellers um, and causing some issues with that, creating some mental harm and distress to the tellers. Um, the primary uh, description we have of him, he's a male white in his 20s or 30s. He's about 5 foot 10 to 6 feet tall, and he has a thin build. Um, he had, possibly has blue or gray colored eyes. Um, during the offenses, he has been wearing different uh, hooded sweatshirts, baseball caps, and a surgical face covering. Um, he also has been wearing retro style sneakers to all the offenses. Um, we have been able to identify a vehicle associated with the offense, and this is why we think that uh, the general public's help will be able to help us solve this. Um, the vehicle is a 2007 Chrysler 300C. The vehicle is grayish blue in color. It has chrome do door handles, chrome side mirrors, nine spoke wheels, and possibly has a sunroof. There's also a very distinguishing dent on the front passenger side fender above the wheel. Um, we have been informed from Crime Stoppers the reward for information leading to an arrest has been up to uh, $1,500. Um, people with information can call uh, Crime Stoppers at 352-3040. Right. He's been wearing different styled retro sneakers. Um, like retro, like colorful? Or? Yeah, colorful, you know, the designs, popular, those types of shoes. They always look fairly new in the uh, videos that we've seen. And what's the note say usually? Um, Usually there's a somewhat lengthy note. I don't want to go into the details of the note, but um, he's always threatening to harm them if, the, if they don't comply with the demand note. And he doesn't really say a word, so does he hand it to them? Yeah, he hands them the note and he usually says a thing or two. What he says I've, is part of our investigation. We don't feel comfortable releasing that yet. But should we say he has a gun or at least says he has a gun or He's implied that he would cause harm to anybody that would not comply with the note. And he doesn't say how, you know, he just said do it or else. Yeah, m more or less just threatening them. So he's been around these banks for the last uh, month and a half or so. What, at what point did you guys realize you've got a serial bank robber or this is the same guy as before? Um, after the first uh, two or three offenses, we started to notice that the demand note was similar and things that he had said or done with the tellers was similar. We also started to notice the Chrysler 300 in the area of those offenses. Safe to say that the the ongoing pandemic and the face masks worn by everyone kind of complicate finding a uh, suspect in this. Yeah, I mean, a facial covering or mask, it's very common, doesn't raise any suspicions right now. Now, in, in those pictures, I see him with his hood up, right? Mm -hmm. But in most places you go in, uh, banks, do they ask people to, bring, to remove their hoods when they come in? Uh, I, I can't speak to specific bank policies. Generally, that's a yes, but that's going to vary from bank to bank. In Cincinnati, they were Hyde Park, Oakley, and Mount Washington. I mean, this obviously a serial bank robber. Is that something you guys deal with a lot? Uh, not particularly. We do deal with a lot of repeat offenders of similar offenses. You know, bank robberies are relatively rare throughout the area. Is there something he's doing that's, because you guys catch bank robbers all the time too. Is there something he's doing that's letting him get away every time? Um, he's going in relatively in and out rather relatively quick. He's been very cognizant to not leave fingerprints and take his note back. Um, that's uh, and covering his face as well. How far are you guys looking outwards from Cincinnati? I know you, you've got a hit in Sharonville. Are you guys looking like Lawrenceburg even, like in the greater, you know, 45 minute drive area too? Yes, yeah, so we've been sharing a lot with the, um, with the South Ohio uh, um, 
area of financial crimes investigators. You know, that includes people in Indiana and Kentucky as well. Uh, as far as we know, these, um, just the Sharonville is the furthest away, but we're still working to see if there are possibly other areas. Yeah, do you guys have some sort of a network where you all can post something up and say, this is a guy we have here, and kind of how do you guys communicate with all the varying uh, law enforcement agencies in the area? Yeah, so since uh, we're part of the financial crime squad, we deal primarily with fraud cases and financial crimes where banks are the primary victims. Uh, the network of banks and their security departments, as well as the um, law enforcement officers and other areas of the county and state, we all communicate with each other, we all work together because most of our stuff is relatively well connected. What do people need to do if they recognize this car, this guy, his shoes, things like that? Um, they should call Crime Stoppers 352-3040, you know, if, and obviously if there's anything suspicious going on where they feel that they need a uh, immediate police response, you know, 911 or the non-emergency number at 65 765-1212 is also pretty good. Um, have you guys been able to identify like the license plate on the car, if it's Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, anything like that? We presume it's an Ohio plate. Um, the video that we have had of the uh, vehicle, um, the vehicle's either driving too fast for us to be able to clear up motion blur or just you know out of focus or the camera just being too far out range. Yeah, I know um, I've interviewed several of the victim tellers once who actually um, handed me the note, and a lot of them are very, very shaken up from the offense. You know, uh, you should feel safe in your home. You should also feel safe at work, and this is what's happening when something like this happens. Yeah, it might just be the bank's money, but these are individuals who are actually suffering trauma from being a victim of a crime. Are there any similarities in banks or these different financial institutions? Is it all one type of bank? Or? They're just, they're different banks. There's. It's not the same branch every time or different same company. Any, like, uh, give like a range of how much has been stolen? Uh, we, we're not um, comfortable discussing that or disclosing that information. Any other questions? 